What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Before we get into this vlog as I've been doing in my past vlogs, um, just giving you guys a quick reminder to make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, depending on whether you like this kind of content or not. Um, and give me some sort of comment below, giving me ideas, suggestions, whatever you would like in the comments. And I'll like get back to you. <laughs> All this stuff just really helps um, me and the future of my channel just lets me know whether I am putting out the right kind of content um, and yeah I just I love the engagement I get from you guys so thank you <laughs> anyway let's get into it <laughs> so clearly by the title um, my varicosum cutting is not doing okay <laughs> I posted last week um a vlog about some new plants i've got um a bit of a show and tell and i showed this guy in there and it was actually doing okay like no roots have grown yet um no uh like the leaf wasn't dying or anything it was like still okay still looked really good um i was doing everything i like in my power to make it okay anyway a week later I came in here yesterday morning to turn on my grow lights and open the curtains and stuff and long behold I literally took one look at this thing and I literally had tears coming out of my eyeballs because he is not happy as you can tell he is uh it's really hard to tell in the camera but this entire leaf is just like completely yellow and gross and like curling over and dying and i just i don't even know anymore so i will take it out of the sphagnum completely as I said also, and it's also like drooping really bad too, I said in the previous vlog I had tried perlite, or maybe it was the vlog before that, I tried perlite for like a really long time, literally as soon as I got this I put it in perlite and it was not doing okay. I did notice that a little bit of the stem was rotting a little bit so I chopped it off and then I popped it in sphagnum moss as I went and watched like a whole bunch of YouTube videos of people who have propagated their varicosums and every single one of them did it in either moss or water so I kind of thought that maybe perlite wasn't the way to go so I tried that and it's been maybe another month and it's just it is not happy not happy Jan so I'll take it out so unfortunately the stem part where the node is is also yellowing so that makes me kind of nervous but I don't know if you can see that but that part there is yellowing and this part of the actual stem itself is also yellowing but like from what I can tell it's healthy like there's nothing that should be going wrong with it. Um, so <laughs> I don't know what to do. <sighs> well, I kind of do because that's why I'm filming this. But anyway, I've been... Yesterday, I just took some time to, you know, grieve. <laughs> because I don't want to get my hopes up that doing what I'm going to be doing today is going to work but I grieved in the morning after I found this and after that I pretty much spent the rest of the day um, YouTubing 
googling all kinds of things how to propagate um aeroids like this um and how to save stem cuttings that aren't um you know aren't living their best life um and yeah just varicosum in general um so I, f I came across like a few different uh, things. One says that um, these guys grow well, uh, root well in water, but I honestly just feel that the leaf is too far gone. Like it, there's honestly just no point in even keeping this thing anymore because it's so damaged. It's it's yellowing, browning, just f a floppy mess. So the other video I watched was on um, wet stick propagation, which is just that part there without the stem. Um, and I have actually had very good experiences and success in the past with wet sticks. Um, if you don't know what wet sticks are, it, like I said, it's that bit without the leaf but has the node in the middle. Um, and there's always a new shoot that comes out from there. So I have had really good success doing that in the past. So I think that's unfortunately my last result with this guy. I think I'm going to have to sacrifice the leaf, um, take it off as like... I just did. <laughs> okay, you can tell this needed to go because I was just fiddling with it and it literally just like popped off. So, wow. Okay, this is what we're working with then, guys. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that I caught that on camera. That's amazing. Okay, cool. <laughs> right. That was just, uh, that was a moment we had to have together. Um, the only thing I am really nervous about is the really yellow part up the top there. <sighs> but I also, I kind of don't, uh, it is, yeah. I think I do need to chop a little bit of it off. And just hope that it doesn't spread. But anyway, so that's where the leaf was, that bright green bit there. Um, you can also see on the other side, I don't know if I'm just going to be able to pick it up on camera, there is a little spot. No. Nah. You can like uh, kind of see it right there. It's like this really little um, dot that. I believe, and anyone can like correct me if I'm wrong, I believe that is the auxiliary bud. And that is what you keep upright and you put uh, what's underneath it onto your sphagnum or whatever your propagating medium is. Um, and that's where the new shoot will come from. So I'm hoping because that still looks good and it's green and it's happy that I will hopefully be able to save this guy. So, I'm so sorry for rambling on, but I needed to, to explain. <laughs> anyway, so that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to chop a little bit of mainly just the brown part of the yellow part, yellow wing bit off and hope that it um, stops the rest of the yellowing. And I'll wait for that to callus over a bit and we will get started with everything else so bear with me <laughs> okay um so things you will need or that i'm going to use um obviously you need some wet sphagnum um you'll need a tub of some sort i'm just using like an old takeaway tub um and because I still had the lid for it, I actually wanted to use the lid and I've just popped some holes in the top for some breathing 
breathing, breathe it for some words, aeration. Um, so we're going to use this, keep the humidity in there, um, et cetera, et cetera. So another thing I actually have that is in the mail currently is a heat mat. So I'm going to be putting a heat mat on either one of these shelves. To be honest, probably on the top one because then I can put some like nice plants on them as well to keep them happy. But I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Um, so this will eventually be sitting on the heat mat, but for now, we're just gonna get it sorted before it like dies completely. Okay. Oh gosh. I'm I'm like almost at the point where I'm ready to give up. But I'm not going to until the thing just dies completely, you know? It's not gonna happen. <laughs> Oh dear, alright, I'll get into a better angle for you guys. You're not going to see me, obviously, you'll just see my feet. <laughs> um, but this is where we're going to work our magic. So I'm going to grab some sphagnum moss. Um, I'm actually going to um, like break it apart a little bit so they're slightly smaller pieces and I'm also going to um, squeeze out a lot of the excess water as well. So I'm just going to start by breaking some of it apart and popping it in the tub. Oh my gosh you guys I so hope this works if it doesn't. Whatever. 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 It will be a very sad day if it doesn't work though. Because this, as I said, has been one of my like major wish list plants that I've always wanted and finally got. And now it's just not happy with me. Uh, I'm not gonna go too crazy with it. I'll put a little bit more in. I want to give it some air, some room, room to breathe. Um, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, so this tub is literally just going to be for my <laughs> varicosum. <laughs> it's just going to be on its own. But that's okay. <laughs> oh dear. All right. So... It hasn't been that long and I think I want it to like callus over a little bit more. So I'm going to leave it sit for a little bit. I'll be right back. So I waited like another five minutes um, just for this guy to callus over a bit. Um, so again, like I said before, I'm going to put the side with the auxiliary bud on the top and everything else will be down the bottom so fingers crossed everyone please keep me in your thoughts and prayers <laughs> so literally i'm just going to be putting it in i'm going to dig it in a little bit i don't want like it to be in there too much because i don't want it to rot any more than it obviously is and that's kind of all that I'm going to do with it, to be honest. Um, the sphagnum is not, it's not even like, it's not wet. Um, because I did squeeze out a lot of the excess water. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep it that way for a few days. Um, because yeah, I don't want it too wet initially. I'm going to pop the lid on. And there we go, there's our little propagation tub. So this guy is going to go um, up here, down here, around here somewhere. Um, for now, I'm just gonna keep him down here with all of my other tubs, uh, propagation tubs. Sorry, the camera's annoying me. That's better. 
Um, yeah, I... This is literally like my last resort. If this doesn't work, I don't know what will. Actually, if this doesn't work, it's probably because it's dead. Um, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I, I honestly, I don't know what else to do. Uh, the downside of buying rare and expensive cuttings is this. Sometimes they don't take. But I hope this one does. At the very least. <laughs> mm. Anyway, I'll keep you guys updated on it. Um, yeah, hopefully it does okay. I'll update you guys in a week when I have my um, heat mat. Like another update video. Um, and hopefully by then it's okay and it's it's growing. <laughs> Fingers crossed. But um yeah. I'll I'll see you then. <laughs>